What's up guys, it's your boy Randell. Welcome to Retro 80. We're getting some requests. Some people want to know how I modified the 24mm lens to work on the Viltrox Speed Booster. So, this is that video. As you can see, it fits perfectly and mm, it doesn't damage the lens inside the Speed Booster or anything. You can see when you remove the the extra part there is um you can see the circuit board but it still fits form it still fits form as if it's an EF mount lens so now I'm gonna show you how I took the lens apart and I'm gonna just Give you a little demonstration even though i already took off the part that you need to take off so this is just a little demonstration on how i move it you have to use the hacksaw to cut off the extra part and you just need that little star screwdriver and that's basically it so now you have this screw this other screw the other one there there's another one there, four screws, and then there's three little screws in the corner. Right in the corner here. You have to take out these screws and you're gonna get to take the lens apart. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. So let's dig into it. Here we go. screws are out now so all you have to do is remove the top part but it's a little trick to it not really a trick it's just that you have to know how you're taking it apart because this part with the connectors um, there's a strip underneath there you don't want to cut the strip because if you cut the strip your camera wouldn't communicate with the lens so you have to push the part with the strip as you can see you raise the other part but the strip you don't want to cut the strip yeah you don't want to cut the strip so you raise the top and you push the part with the strip towards the glass of the lens as you can see here the strip is curved so it wouldn't cut or anything it just folds I'm gonna do it again let you see see you just do it in an angle and you wouldn't have to worry about the strip let me show you one more time as you can see that the strip is curved now there's some clips one there one there one here so you just have to raise them up and push it back and it's gonna release um, it's a little tight so have to take your time because if your hands slip you might cut the strip so make sure you hold 
You know what? Just use your finger. See? Easy. Use your finger again. Uh, yeah. Do the other one. And it releases. Now you have this plastic part. Now this plastic part, as you can see, I cut off the extra part. There's extra piece that prevents you from attaching it to the speed booster. So when you get the ox off, you're just gonna cut off the extra part. Obviously, mine is cut already, but you're just gonna cut straight through. You're gonna take your time and cut it through. And and you wouldn't have to worry. Just cut it off, and you can get a piece of sandpaper or something and just smoothen back this part. I mean, it doesn't have to be smooth, but you don't want anything to fall off and go into the lens. Um, these clips, as you can see, it's a clip. Let me see if you can see it. Um, um, you can see it slightly is a clip. Yeah, the camera focus on it. Yeah. Now this part, you can see there's a little, a little fine thing there. It's gonna go through the hole and it's gonna stay in there. So you're gonna just get to put the plastic part back there and it's gonna fit firm. So I think the first thing you should do is put this part back in the hole. Just let it go through the hole and it's gonna stay yeah and now it's easy after this yeah the plastic part oh I have done the wrong side so you just line it up and press it in mm, yeah now you're good to go all you have to do when you finish here now is just put the screws back in. Okay guys, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, you can comment below, let me know what type of videos you'd like to see, so I'll see you in the next video.